allows you to interact with your customers, supporters or members in a variety of ways outside of your website. You can use social media to let your customers know about products and services, but more importantly, to gain immediate feedback from your audience. The potential is enormous, yet many businesses and organizations are wary of diving into social media due to time, lack of budget, or because they're unsure of its effectiveness or how it fits in with the rest of their marketing efforts. When considering social media platforms, you should think about which ones will help you to engage with the most amount of people from your target market. For example, if you're running an arts and crafts business or a business targeting women, Pinterest could be a platform worth exploring. If your business is highly visual, you're a photographer or you're targeting a younger audience, maybe Instagram is for you. The main questions to ask yourself are who is my target audience and how do they like to communicate? In this tutorial, we'll meet with a number of business owners to find out how they use social media in their business and how it has been of benefit. My name is Akshaya Burka and I'm a founder of the Art and Craft Gallery. Hi, I'm Tom O'Donoghue, I'm from HSC Hub and we make online video tutorials for high school students in New South Wales. My name is Nidhi Brown and I run Marketing Community. Social media is very important for us because we, have, we do marketing of our artists on 10 different platforms and we do that by collaborating with businesses who are complementary to us and cross-promoting each other's services that brings in authentic uh, tribes. So we use social media to engage with students um, as our number one concern as well because at the end of the day that's where they are. Um, most of the students spend a lot of their time, whether that even be in class really these days, um, on their phones and, and on their mobiles as well. So really we look to kind of reach out to them um, and engage on the places that they were visiting most often. We use a lot of hashtags but not too many because we found that seeing that it's linked to Twitter it does help. Um, reach audiences that we wouldn't be able to reach. For example, um, we use words like hash farmers markets or hash community markets, hash what's on in Melbourne, what's on in Sydney, uh, and that reaches people that we want to reach. There are a lot of social media platforms out there. So where should you start? Well, over 58% of all Australians are on Facebook. So this is an obvious choice. For me, I realised that Facebook is my biggest strength for my audience as well as for myself, creating content and connecting with people. We use Facebook, um, it probably represents about 50% of our new traffic um, and it's a major source of customer acquisition for us. Yet Facebook isn't the entire story. There are many other platforms on the net that are well suited to specific audiences and specific industries. We also use Instagram and Pinterest and Google+. We use YouTube to also drive a message, um, help our new customers understand what we do um, and really sort of communicate some of the mechanics of that, especially being a new type of business. Um, and we also use other things like Twitter um, to make sure that we're listening for uh, how our customers are talking about our business, first of all, um, and also how they're talking about the HSC or how they're talking about school so that we can kind of reach out um, when it's meaningful to them and when they're talking about that so that we can step our business into that discussion. This is just a brief rundown to get you started in using social media for your business. For more in-depth advice, check out www.digitalready.org.au where there is a range of tutorials and articles to help you learn more about social media and how you can use it to grow your business. Music